got a little tan since the last time you guys saw me um but i'm starting off a new vlog so welcome to my channel if you guys are new definitely stick around and subscribe monday ryan has a day off today so we're going to head to teal house to get cinnamon rolls we tried to go like last sunday i believe and they were closed and so you know what? I should probably check if they're even open today because I'm really craving their cinnamon rolls. They're so freaking good. Also, if you guys are new here, I live in Austin, Texas, and we just have like some of the best food. So it's really hard not to eat out, but this week I'm going to try to like make a meal plan and really, really stick to it. So let's see what we can do. Best freaking cinnamon roll ever. And what did you get, Ray? Um, ham and cheese croissant. So it's 10 a.m. and we didn't really have like much to do today. I was like, we should just go to Nordstrom Rack because I have a brand deal to film and I already have makeup on and we can kind of make it quick, hopefully. Um, so we're gonna go in there. Basically, I'm just trying to find like the best sale items and like really good brand names. Like I'm actually kind of shocked, like obviously this is not sponsored by Nordstrom Rack, but, but I was shocked because I hadn't been in one in so long and they had like frame made well, like why are we buying full price made well shorts when there's like a full on rack in Nordstrom Rack? So I'm excited to see what they have today. Ryan found some cute new swimsuits. I love the orange ones the best, but probably the pink one if you had to get two and the orange and the pink one. What? Okay, then get the orange one. This orange? Yeah. Orange? No, like the oranges. <laughs> Those are cute. Look at this dress. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's can you help me? <laughs> yeah, I already checked the free people rack though. Yeah. It's cute. Ryan found his first linen shirt of the summer, guys. So and it was so cute. It's like 25 bucks. What brand is it, babe? Union. Well, it looks good. I don't know that brand, but it looks really good. Yay! Ryan's are both booked. Actually, the last two seats that we have available. Oh. And that's why I put those, <laughs> put those prices. We are so lucky. I do have your confirmation number. Okay, awesome. My pleasure, and thank you so much for calling Southwest Airlines. We're going to the beach! Literally in two days. <laughs> it all happened so fast, but basically my dad has a beach house in, um, well, between like Rosemary and Alice Beach, right? It's like 30A. Yeah, 30A. And he was like, the beach house is free this weekend. And I was like, interesting. I didn't have too much planned for like work. I did have one shoot that I had to reschedule. Shout out to my friend Nagin for being so, so freaking nice and understanding. And we're gonna try to reschedule it for the next um, week because I'll be here like the next Monday. He said the beach house was free Thursday to Monday, but then I was like, wait, you're, you guys are like there right now, right? So I could come earlier. He was like, yeah, you can come earlier. But we decided like, Tuesday's literally tomorrow. So we're just like, okay, we'll just try to leave on Wednesday. Um, so I'm really excited. We like just texted Sophie's dog sitter. Really, really hoping that he's available because it definitely would be cheaper to get a pet sitter for her than to take her with us, even though that would be more fun. But it's like 100 there and 100 back for her to come with us. So that's an extra $200. But I'm not sure if I ever told you guys, but I do have a companion pass with Southwest because I had um, the business card and my sister actually told me to get it. So I use that for my business. So basically I went through her referral link and was able to get so many uh, points just for like signing on to the credit card. And then that whole year I was using it as my business card. So I racked up a lot of points and we got the companion pass. So basically the flight for just me, because it was so last minute, it was $600 and Technically, it's $300 for both of us because we just like kind of split it if we're doing the companion pass. So that is amazing. So everything worked out. We would just probably have to get an Uber to the place, which is like about 30 minutes away from, or like the airport's 30 minutes away, right? 30 mm. minutes or something Yeah. from my dad's house. But I've been wanting a beach vacation so bad. And we've been seeing everyone like post about Alice Beach on their stories and like the water yeah. and everything. Ryan always sends me them and we're just like, we want to go so bad. So this worked out very, very nicely, very spontaneous of us. Because usually I'm just like, ah, oh, that's so last mm -hmm. minute. We can't do it. But honestly, we were lucky enough to move things around. But Ryan's still going to have to work. I'm still going to have to work. So 
but we're gonna be able to work at the beach. <laughs> so I'm excited. Next up, we need to maybe see about reservations there. I mean, luckily we're not going on like Memorial Day weekend, so hopefully yeah. the crowds will be a little bit less. Everyone just got out of school. Got out of school? Yeah. Shoot. But True. we need to book our Atlanta tickets for June. Yeah, we have lots of summer travel coming up and we need to book everything. So credit card's gonna be a little high this month, but that's okay, it'll be worth it. <laughs> Ryan got that one shirt at Nordstrom Rack and he was like, I don't know where I'm gonna be able to wear this. I'm stuck up. Ryan! <laughs> Bring it to the beach! Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know. Now I'm stressed. I'm not spontaneous. It's so funny because I'm a Sagittarius and that's like the number one word that's kind of associated with it. I mean, maybe not number. What am I saying? You guys know what I mean. That's a word that is associated with Sagittarius, but I am not spontaneous like one bit. I have to plan everything and now I'm like, I need to like create a to-do list because I'm like a little stressed. Ryan, Ryan, come, 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 come. Look, 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 come here, come here. Okay, guys, do you remember when we got this plant from East Austin Succulents? I think I vlogged it. We got a bougainvillea. There's pink petals on it. I just noticed. Guys, what the freaking heck? These all just popped out of nowhere, I swear. Oh my goodness. Yay. This is so exciting. And it's weird because I didn't realize these weren't like flowers, or they're not flowers. They're actually just leaves that are turned pink. Wow, these are so pretty. We should probably get like more soil, number one, because it's like barely in there, but we also should get like a stick and try to like have this climb up the stick so that it just has something to rest on, but I'm so happy with these. It's 4.38, I got a pimple patch on. I don't know why that's coming up, but we need to prevented from going any further um well the last time i talked to you guys we booked our flights to go to the beach it still hasn't hit me um but i just edited a tiktok and it kind of took me a while it was um day one of my sister being here i didn't vlog it for youtube because whenever i'm with my family i just feel like okay i can take a breath i can put down my phone i can put down my camera and I could just like hang out with them and be present. But then I'm also like, this is really great content. <laughs> like, why am I not vlogging this? But I did do some TikTok vlogs. So I'll try to link all of them in the um, description if you guys are interested. It's gonna be like a local's guide to Austin. My sister came to visit me after four years of me living here. She's never come to visit. This is her first time in Austin. And so of course I had to show her my all time favorite places. She was here for I think four days, but honestly we had really shitty weather. So I couldn't do some of the things that I really wanted to do with her, which was mainly swimming. We did go to this one area of Barton Springs and it was on a day that it was kind of rainy, but when we got there, the rain had like completely stopped. There was no one in sight. And so like the whole thing was just me and my sister and it was so fun. Like it's definitely going to be a core memory for me. Um, so that's in day two, which I have not posted yet, but I'm gonna post it on TikTok and Instagram reels because I posted on my stories, I think last week, I was like, what do you guys follow me for? A lot of people said Austin Rex, which I feel like I've been definitely out of the loop and just off my game with all my Austin content, which I know that's what a lot of you guys follow me for. And I really want to get back into it because just editing that vlog made me so freaking happy, but I do get imposter syndrome. I have been here for four years. I literally just Googled it because I didn't want to like title my stuff like a local's guide and then people would hate on me. But it said it depends, but some places you can be there for 30 days, 60 days or a year and be called a local. I've been here for four years, so I feel like I've earned my badge and I just need to like get over the imposter syndrome um, because I feel like I eat at cool places and I want to share them with you guys. Um, so more Austin content to come. But if you guys have any specific videos that you want to see, let me know. Um, but I am going to start editing my video that I probably should have posted yesterday. But I think I'm just gonna try to like simplify my editing because one of the main things I dread is just like adding the music and like synchronizing it together. And honestly, I feel like vlogs do better if they're less edited. I don't know if you guys like that style. Like let me know in the comments down below. But it does take a little bit of time to find like the perfect music to go over the perfect scene. And I don't know, I'm just like kind of over it. I want my vlogs to be a little bit less edited 
and I stutter a lot so maybe you guys will be seeing me stutter more. It's funny because whenever I vlog with someone else and maybe I don't stutter in that moment, they're like, what the heck? How did you do that? Like, I feel like I'm not good on camera and I'm like, you don't see like nine times out of 10 where I'm just like stuttering and can't even start the like clip. So I definitely edit a lot of that out <laughs> because you do not want to hear me stutter. It's so funny because whenever I edit, Ryan like overhears it. I don't really use headphones a lot of the time and I don't know how he doesn't get annoyed at me because <laughs> it's like really bad. It's just like hearing my voice over and over again. Like I think he's just so used to it. But I'm going to try to edit this as fast as I can because I want to get it up tonight. It is currently 4.40, so like almost 5.00. But let's see, I have like an hour, a little over an hour of footage that I have to edit. So let's see how long it takes me. I'm actually very curious and curious to see if I can like do it in one sitting because usually I'm just like so distracted. I feel so weird because I haven't like talked to a human in a little bit and my mouth was like hurting. I was like, oh my God, I need to like talk to someone. Um, but Ryan is golfing like usual. Honestly, it's kind of nice because he'll ask like, oh, do you want to hang out or do you want me to go golfing? And nine times out of 10, I'm like, go ahead and go golfing because then I can work a little bit. So I got that video edited and it wasn't that bad. I kind of love how that video turned out with like not really any music. I mean, there was one part where I was like editing for a good 10 minutes and I just like fast forwarded it and I just put like, music over that but other than that i didn't really put music over it and i kind of liked it that way um but i just posted a tiktok and a reel and i'm feeling productive and now i want to go shower and like take off my makeup and get cozy for the night we got chipotle for lunch and have a little bit left over so i think i'm just gonna eat that for dinner and what else what else i kind of forgot that i'm going to the beach so i definitely want to start pulling outfits and like start packing because tomorrow we have a triple date planned which i'm very excited about it's with two of my content creator friends amelia and Catherine, and then their boyfriends and one one's a husband um but they're mans and then um, we're gonna probably cook steak, so I think I'm gonna go get the steak tomorrow from HEB. And I'm also catching up with another friend that I haven't like caught up with in so long. We saw each other at South by just like in passing, and she DM'd me this like matcha at Merit Coffee. It's like a new flavor, I guess. And I was like, wait, we're definitely due for a catch up, like, let's go try it together. So we're gonna go at noon tomorrow, but I feel like I have a lot to do. I think I need to just like make a to-do list tonight and we'll get everything done tomorrow. Our flight on Wednesday is very early. So Sophie will probably be going to the dog sitter tomorrow, which is sad, but I'm going to the beach, so it can't be that sad. Good morning, it is Tuesday. Our house is a freaking mess. I have been trying to pack kind of a little bit, but basically I just pulled out a bunch of clothes from my closet, which was kind of a lot. Like everything is neutral, which is so funny because I I think I made the switch like during COVID to just start wearing only neutrals. Now I kind of wear color, but I feel like a lot of my basics are neutral, which I still love. Like I I love that I can rewear all the time. It's just funny though, because all of the clothes that I brought out, they're all neutral. <laughs> So I guess it's just what I gravitate towards. But when I was in my closet pulling stuff out, I kind of started to like organize and kind of get rid of stuff. So that took like a long time, which I feel so good about doing that because my floor in my closet is completely clear. I don't think I've ever seen that in the time that I've like lived in this apartment. Um, my last closet, I don't know if you guys have been following me since my last apartment, but holy crap, it was like a room. I, I still can't even like believe that I had a room as a closet and it was actually the closet like it's not a room that I transformed into a closet if that makes sense. It was large. So I definitely missed that. It is almost noon and I'm going to head out the door because I'm meeting my friend for a little matcha date. I haven't like caught up with this friend in so long so I'm excited to see her. Life just gets so busy and I've been meeting to contact like literally so many of my content creator friends especially because I feel like I like to hang out with them outside of just the influencer events and this happens every year after grad season I'm like okay we're gonna be chill and we can like get back into the groove of things and then summer travel hits and it's not very chill and especially because this trip was so last minute um but in my room 
I'll show you guys what I have pulled out so far. This is the first outfit I thought of. My denim skirt from Stradivarius and this vest from Z Supply. And then this top I got from Nordstrom Rack actually. Um, and it's so freaking cute. And it's actually uh, free people. And then I pulled out some swimsuits and a bunch of other things. Oh my gosh. <gasps> This is stupid. Somebody's got to change. Oh, God. This is embarrassing. <laughs> How are you? Good. Good to I see you. Oh, my gosh. Can't wait to try this drink. I know. Um, oh, passion fruit matcha limeade. Yum. And I asked for it a little bit sweeter. We'll give you guys a taste test review. Oh. Yeah? Really good. I like it. Mine's not very sweet though. Oh, mine's fine. Oh, yeah. okay. Perfect. Do you want to try mine? Wait, I really like it. It's like so refreshing. And you can really taste the passion fruit. Is mine sweeter? Ooh. Yeah, yours is okay. sweeter. You mine's pretty good though. It's like okay. a little more whiny. Mm. Yeah. That's a really good summer drink. now and I am finally getting my suitcase out I was kind of like trying to wait as long as possible because when I bring the suitcase out Sophie starts whining so bad like she knows what's happening so I tried to wait as long as I can but I really just want to get it done and ready but look at me representing where we're going tomorrow um, I'm so excited guys it doesn't even feel real I'll be swimming in crystal blue water tomorrow our flight is so early this morning we had to check in at like 5 55 a.m because that's when our flight departs tomorrow so that's gonna be super fun but honestly not complaining as long as i'm at the beach and i have this like weird thing where if i go to a new place that's like not my home even if i've been there before i don't like arriving when it's dark or just like later in the day because then the whole vacation does not feel real like i'm kind of like disconnected if it's dark and I get there when it's dark because I can't really see my surroundings. Does anyone else feel this way? I told this to Ryan and he definitely understands it too, but I, I hate that I'm this way. But like luckily, I think probably the cheapest to fly when we are flying, like really early in the morning. That way he can do his work when we get there and we'll have like the whole day ahead of us. So I'm just really, really excited. Okay, let me get to packing. I'm gonna try to do this like pack with me TikTok. I've always said I'm gonna do this and today is the day. Hopefully it turns out good. Crossing my fingers. just ran out of storage. I hate when this happens right before a trip. Oh, I love being a woman. <laughs> Still a disaster, but I feel like I've made a lot of progress. We got a lot of things packed in packing cubes, so I'm very happy about that. But now we are headed to drop Sophie off at our pet sitter's house, and then we're actually having a triple date tonight. We're grilling out, making steaks. I think Amelia made like a bunch of sides, so I'm also really excited to see her house because she kind of did like a fixer-upper and I saw like pictures briefly and it looks so good. So very excited to see it in person. Cover girl, concealers. Can you tell me which blushes. one I should have? Cause you know better than I do. Um, powder. 
Yeah. You know, I don't know. Mean. Well, you can get like a dark one for like a, a bronzer, and then a light one so for sure. like a, a normal concealer. I would say that's yeah. what I did. But they sent me every single shade in the range. For that's amazing. Shades, yeah. So I didn't need all of that. I told Catherine, "Give me all your dark makeup." <laughs> <laughs> it's I it. it. So, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Risotto. So excited. I have to make regular. Oh stuff. my god. It is 9.30, just got back from Amelia's, and Ryan is just now starting to pack. I'm <laughs> finishing up packing. I don't have too much more, but like, you know when you just overthink things and you're like, what else do I need? I scheduled a car for 4.30 a.m., so we will be up bright and early. Um, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. I don't know if this is a short one. It probably will be, to be honest, but I just wanna post more and try to be more consistent. Um, like I said in the last vlog, so get ready for some beach content. 30A is like my favorite place on the earth, so I'm very, very excited to be my mermaid self and finally get some swimming in. We went on a boat this past Sunday for Memorial Day weekend. That was like my first time swimming this whole spring summer, which it gets hot here really early, so I feel like there was definitely times I could have been swimming, but I don't know what was going on. If you guys want to see more in real time content, go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm going to be posting a lot of my stories and definitely TikTok, so go follow me over there and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!